Driven. Vehicles by upcoming car designers. This is a really cool book filled with some really cool concept cars and concept car sketches. Amazing talent displayed in this book. I was so inspired that I'm going to build one. In particular, I want to build this Porsche Supersport by Artur Schein. At least a super sport inspired vehicle. So here you go. I've begun to work that out inside of ZBrush just to start and work out the proportions. And now I am going to transition to Alias Sub D to finish up the body. Okay, so I started by importing the model inside of Alias and I did that by exporting it out as an OBJ inside of ZBrush and imported it as an OBJ inside of Alias. Once there, I made sure that my windows or my preferences that is was on workflows and subdiv. When that is activated, I get this subdiv shelf down here. It's just a shelf with the subdiv tools that are available inside of Alias. And then also there's the same subdiv tools that are in the subdivision tab in my palette. So after that, I went ahead and click retop. And then at the bottom, um, I see next. But before I click that next, I'm gonna click this model here and then click next. And then I'll click go in the same area here, go. And then my model turns this pinkish color, uh, red, pinkish color, whatever. And then now it's ready to retop. So I began by clicking with my left mouse button four points or vertices, and then hovering inside the middle and press my shift key and a preview of the subdiv surface or face will appear. And once I click inside of that area, one subdiv face will be created. I divided up the patch by pressing shift and hovering and just clicking where this green, where that green line is, divide it up to make two, and then divide it up again horizontally, and I made four. And then by pressing shift here, I can hover over an edge and I can just press left mouse button and extend that out. And I align that uh, according to where I think I need it to align it. And that's really right at these points here. I'm gonna stretch that here. Again, I'm just clicking on the vertices and just moving it. We can do the same up here. Shift, hover over an edge, and I'll just extend that like that. I want to extend, so I'll just extend this over to the center line and I'll press Shift, and this time, instead of pressing the left mouse button, I'll press the, the middle mouse button, and I'll extend the whole edge here. Once it gets about to the middle, I'll press Shift and divide all three of those into three. Maybe I'll extend this one here, like that, and align that according to the edge. It's important that you align these edges here, you know, like this, this edge. You want to align those to feature lines and theoretical lines. So that's how you control the model. You can see that this, this particular line here is on top of this feature character line. And so you'll see that as I progress, I'll model many of the, uh, the subdivs on top of those character lines. For example, if I were to do here, up here, I'll extend this. I'll extend this so that there's a line all the way and it's right on the character or the feature line, the fender line, plan view. And also obviously it's on the side view too. That was important for me as I progressed because that's how I control the model. Now in order to, when I got into a place where I needed to delete a subdiv, or a subdiv face that is, I press control, hover over the face that I wanted to delete and press left mouse button, and thus the face was deleted. 
Uh, essentially, that is how you begin to resurface and subdiv inside of Alias. So pretty soon, I had this, uh, and then I got this. So it progressed really fast, obviously not as fast as me clicking on a layer, but it progressed pretty fast and, and it was all a part of those basic functions that I just showed you earlier. I press number three to smooth it and I'll turn off the, the vertices and the edges by pressing F12 and there you have it, that's the body. Now, there's a lot more detail that needs to be done and I will, I will actually export this out to Blender and even ZBrush to kind of play around with it, but that's how I resurfaced it inside of Alias. Now, to note that this, as it is now, is a subdiv, but it's also a NURBS at the same time. If I simply pressed uh, this particular two, uh, subdiv to NURBS, it will actually take this surface, and let's just go ahead and do it so you can see right quick. I'm gonna pick that surface here, and then I'm gonna press subdiv to NURBS, and then I'll just go ahead and create another layer because there's actually two bodies now in that same location. You don't know until what, you see what I do here. And I am going to assign this here, and then we're gonna turn that off. So what you see now is this is a complete NURB surface. Now, of course, it's got a zillion sub uh, patches. If you know anything about NURBs, this is not the optimum way of creating NURBs. Nonetheless, it is a NURB surface. If I turn on my CVs, uh, you can see that we've got holes, you've got, you've got CVs, uh, and there's a surface patch. And I can do anything that I do with any surface patch inside of Alias. And that's what we just created using subdivs, subdivs to NURBS. Anyhow, we're gonna take this and finish it. I'm sort of going to throw in a couple of cut lines and maybe a canopy, uh, but I'm not gonna really get too deep inside of it. Just to kind of show you, this is how you approach it inside of Alias coming from a quick sculpt done in ZBrush, even Blender, or even things like uh, Nomad Sculpt. I'll move on and I'll show you what we got. Again, if you came in later and you didn't see the beginning, this is really just a quick sort of getting my head around some of the beautiful models that was done in that book, Driven, which I showed earlier in the video. So yeah, I think I think I've pretty much captured the essence of it. So here it is inside of inside of VRED. And it's just raycast at this point. And I'll show it also retraced. But um, yeah, I made the wheels completely in ZBrush. Knock those out really quickly. If you look close, you can see uh, the you know ZBrushy sort of imperfect surfaces. And then the the lines were done inside of Blender using what's it called the shrink wrap tool. That really works perfectly doing that. I didn't get to the back, but that's fine. But when you when you kind of step back, you get a sense of this this vehicle. Let's turn on ray tracing and see how it looks. But yeah, look at that. I think it looks really nice. I didn't really just copy all of the lines and everything as it was in that model. But I mean, it's close enough and this is a really good base for playing around. And that's what I think I'll do. But I did like three, three quick sculpts from that book. And I think I'll just go ahead and re the other ones too, just as a base, just as a base, I'm not trying to copy anybody and, and we're not doing that. That's why, in fact, I kind of changed a little bit here because I don't want to just completely rip, I'm not trying to rip the guy off. I'm just inspired by his beautiful design. Beautiful, simple design is what it is. And I love it. So, but I hope you can find inspiration in it. And buy that book to support the artist. You'll also find the link in the description below. I bought it at Curb Shop. 
It's an automotive enthusiast site. It has t-shirts, books, all kinds of things. Um, and just really good merchandise on that site. And that's where I purchased the book. And if they're still in stock, the last I checked, however, they weren't. But if they're still in stock, pick them up. And uh, I think you'll be impressed by the quality of the book and just the beautiful sketches. It's kind of nice to see things online, you know, and Instagram and, and all the other sites available. But to have a book, to have that book in your hand and kind of flip through them, it's a whole different experience, I think. Uh, an experience that's well worth it. So support the artist, uh, support Curb Shop, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And please give it a like if you do. If you find anything that was that was helpful, let me know. If you find anything that you you were unsure about, particularly that quick sort of demo that I did, also please let me know. Um, and yeah, let's continue this thing. All right, that's been it.